Good evening. Imagine when you go to the grocery store next time and you see this new soup can called primordial soup. Don't you just want to open and see what's inside it? Probably what you're going to see is this tiny millions and billions of organic molecules trying to react with each other because they want to become bigger, more stable, and more importantly, they want to become life. So that makes us to think about what's the nature of the first living matter on early Earth. Sounds, in sounds interesting, right? But this is one of the difficult questions to answer in origins of life studies, because nobody can really go back in time and find out what really happened. One of the best ways to answer this question is by creating simple structures and monitor how they can grow into more complex systems. This is where my role comes in. Just like this, that alchemist in the middle picture who's trying to create in the laboratory, I'm trying to design a ribonucleic acid or an RNA molecular system which has basic lifelike properties to answer this important question. So how do I do this? I start with five non-living pieces of short RNA and mix them in a salt water solution. With the help of salt and temperature, these five pieces can come together and assemble into an intermediate structure. Now this intermediate structure can help these five pieces to assemble faster into the final RNA molecule. This final RNA molecule is the main player in the system because it has two important lifelike properties. First, it is more stable than the intermediate structure. Second, it can catalyze, making more copies of itself directly from the five pieces without the help of the intermediate. So being able to make more copies of itself is the most significant feature of the system, like a photocopy machine, making more copies. Because in a prebiotic environment, when resources were limited, this system is more effective and efficient way to increase the population. In other words, this system demonstrates that Almost 4 billion of years ago, all it took was just one simple RNA molecule to build up from five easy RNA pieces to form into a lifelike system. So, when you open the soup can next time, now you definitely know out of all of those molecules, which molecules are definitely going to form into a lifelike system. Thank you.